Our ancestors have long said that the heart and the mind are connected. Well, it turns out there may be some truth to that. A disease in one organ has a profound effect on the other, and nowhere is that more true than with atrial fibrillation and stroke. Atrial fibrillation is an electrical disturbance of the heart that results in abnormal, irregular heartbeats. And because the heart and the mind are connected, we now know that if you have AFib, you're five times more likely to suffer a stroke. This is because the abnormal beating of the chambers of the heart can result in tiny blood clots forming. These are clots that can dislodge and travel to the brain, resulting in stroke. Clots the size of a grain of rice. Clots which in some cases can be rapidly removed via a minimally invasive procedure called thrombectomy, which can remarkably stop or even reverse the ravages of stroke. So this week, leading heart experts from around the world, we call them electrophysiologists, are gathering right here in Boston at the annual Heart Rhythm Society meeting. They're discussing the latest advances in treating atrial fibrillation and other heart rhythm disorders. And exactly at the same time, 2,000 miles away in Colorado, leading brain experts, we call them neurointerventionalists, are gathering to discuss the latest minimally invasive treatments for stroke at the Society of Neurointerventional Surgery, or SNIS. And what ties it all together is image-guided therapy. To make a dent in stroke, which by the way is the leading cause of disability in the world, I think you need to look at it from end to end. So that means healthy living. Up to 80% of stroke can be prevented by lifestyle changes. That includes treating high blood pressure, stopping smoking, reducing obesity. It also means developing solutions to prevent some strokes from happening in the first place. And that includes treating the atrial fibrillation. It also means faster diagnosis, for example, using AI to accelerate the triaging of stroke patients and optimizing the workflow for faster treatment because time is brain. You're losing two million neurons every minute a stroke is in progress. And so it turns out our ancestors were right. The heart and the mind are connected and in more ways than one. And now you're in the know.